are we on? Hi, it's me. Welcome to I'm Not Prepared. We're doing it. We're making content. put some outfits together of what I may or may not wear on Halloween. God knows I will still be sitting on my couch waiting for kids to show up with candy with no children in my neighborhood. It's what we do every year, it's a tradition. So I'm just gonna try stuff on if I pretended to dress up for Halloween and you're gonna tell me what you like best. Yeah, that, that's gonna be what's happening. And I, I did my makeup. I don't know who she is, but she's here for you. And I put this on. It's cute, it's vintage. I decided this is what I would wear if I got asked to prom. So. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Here's my beautiful rack of clothes. Very organized. I'm gonna go find a tripod, hopefully find one. And then we'll get started. If you want to be a part of the family, you can subscribe and I'll steal your soul forever. Oh, where are you, tripod? Where are you? Wait, we can do this one. We'll use this one. All right. How's that backdrop, everybody? I got one long enough to fit the whole screen, as you can see. Let's get our lighting over here. And act like we're professional. Ooh, lighting. Ooh. All right, now we will begin the Halloween clothing haul. I won't be wearing any of these outfits, but I'm just gonna try them on for your enjoyment. All right, here we go. I don't know what this is. My assistant, oh, it's on backwards. I don't wanna put it on again. It was so hard to put on. As I was saying, this is my assistant's. There's a hole right here, but she let me try this on and I don't know, I think it's a superhero. But my ass looks nice. Her. What do you rate me? Can someone tell me what this is? Okay, next. Oh my God. This, this is like Victorian bride. I don't know, but it's kind of short in the front and then it's real long in the back. I don't know if my butt's showing or not, but it's so cute. We have like this Halloween shop here and it's kind of like Party City or something, but yeah. Mm, 10 out of 10, I'm gonna go make some TikToks. This one is, let me just say this, TikTok, this is a haul. This is not sexual, okay? It's only sexual if you are watching is sexualizing me, okay? This is a costume. I am a taxi driver. I used to wear this to go go dancing for obvious reasons, but I love it because I love it. But it's definitely not something that I would wear to a party anymore. It's definitely something I'd rave in. But it's it's spandex. It's cute. And that's it for this one. I'm moving on. This is the most fitting costume costume for me for obvious reasons. How does this go? How does the hat go? Am I doing it right? I don't know if I'm doing the hat right. I think it's like, like this. It's like a headband. <laughs> this is a nun costume. I was a nun in my past life and now I'm back to do the Lord's work. I love this outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna say that about every outfit, but it's cute. It's cute for a nun outfit. It's like a 70s nun. And my hair looks really short this way, but <sighs> that's, uh, that's about it. I need like a stool to step on. So yeah, flowy sleeves, cute mini skirt, the exquisite cross detail. What more could you want out of a nun costume besides this terrible hat that doesn't make sense? There we go. Okay, what's next? I'm the Jingle Fairy. This is cute. This is, I guess, a joker. What do you think? It's really comfortable. 
but I couldn't imagine going to a costume party because like everyone would know where you are. They'd be like, where's that jingle bitch? And I kind of feel like an elf or something, but it's, it's actually kind of cute. Like at least I'm all covered up head to toe because we wouldn't want to offend anybody. Because when you have a body, you offend everyone. But it's cute. It's a, it's a little big. I found this at Goodwill. Let me take this off before my dogs have a panic attack. Tennis, woo! Here she is. She's here to master the courts. These are um, just white bottoms, but this costume is from Shein. I don't know if, if my terribly offensive you know what need to be blurred, but it's, it's kind of cute. I hate it. Who is she? She's a witch. This, my friends, is a pagan witch. I don't even have the energy to tighten the corset. You get the picture. There she is. Aren't I scary? Boo. Here we have it, the finale. Do you need your temperature taken? Cause I'm not gonna fucking do it. Cause I'm fucking tired of trying on costumes that I'm not gonna wear. So you know what? Here's the last one. I'm a nurse. This costume covers very little and I'd show you, but then I'd get kicked off YouTube, so. But yeah, this is this is a nurse costume. And like, I literally can't show you cause I can't show you. Let's have a little sit down, shall we? As much as I love trying on things. I, I had a few more outfits for you. I had, I don't know what this is actually, but I, I had a school girl, the skirt just fell off, and I had a few other things. But the thing is, we live in a world where you dress a certain way, you're labeled a certain thing, and especially here on these platforms, it's deemed as inappropriate. But you know what's inappropriate? The people who are making a fun thing inappropriate, okay? I just wanna have fun. It's hard having a body out here. You know, it's hard having ipples, you know? It's hard when they point because you get ridiculed for it. You know, you get your stuff taken down, you get your accounts banned. Just frustrating. I'm just tired. I had a long day. It's Monday. You know, I've had a, I had a lot of people cancel on me today. I'm trying to get my schedule organized and all this shit. And you know, I've been on point, but not everyone else is on point. And you know, sometimes you just can't control everybody. And I put time aside to do my content, but I'll be honest, I my brain's been in a lot of places today. And you girl, I need to do some self care. So we're gonna cut the filming short. As fun as and excited I was to do Halloween stuff, it's like, what's the point of getting cute, sexy stuff if you know who's gonna take down all your stuff anyways if it's too, you know, too much skin? It's just, it's upsetting. It's frustrating for me. This is just a long time battle. If you follow me, you know that I live in fear of what I post. You know, it's hard, it's hard to be as authentic as I want. I feel like I have to talk in code, you know, especially on TikTok, where most of you have come from. And I love you, I'm so happy you're here. Now this is turning to a chit chat. But if you left already, you came for the costumes. If you stayed, you came to hang out. And now I have this huge pile of clothes that I gotta clean up, put back in my closet. My dogs are in their crates crying like, mommy, what are you doing? And that's kind of when YouTube starts to feel like a job, you know? Cause you're like rushing through it and you want it to be perfect. And my backdrop doesn't even fit in the fucking frame but you don't care, but I care, and it pisses me off. So where do we go from here? What did we learn today? Don't show your body on the internet unless you want to get removed from where you're showing your body on the internet, unless it's an acceptable place to, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, thanks for sitting here with me if you made it to this video. I'm leaving town Wednesday, I'm getting my back tattooed, so my brain is like, oh my God, you're about to take a flight, you haven't flown in two years because the world is ending. Oh, and I'm flying alone. I'm nervous, excited. Can you tell there's vodka in this mug? Terrible at outros. All I want to say is that you ha if you have me playing in your background, I love you, you're important, and I'm grateful that you exist. I love you, thanks for being here. Comment below what costume you like, because it doesn't matter, because I'm not wearing them anyways. Happy Halloween.